watching our cover uh, the past week, we know that uh, we've been on the ground and maybe the top This is probably one of the top 12, so the top dozen of all storms ever seen on this planet with a satellite or in person. That's how big this is. This storm is sandy size in width. This is the entire country of the Philippines. And so there's a lot of bubble here. There's a lot of water under this storm. There's going to be storm surge. Filipino people, the people of Tacloban and Samar and Cebu and all these places uh, where so many have died, they are strong not just to have survived this storm, but they are strong to have survived the aftermath of this storm. This, despite what happened, you said uh, the, the strong typhoon and high waters you know, could not drown the fate of the Filipinos. trembling in fear when uh, Super Typhoon Yolanda hit our area in Eastern Samar and half of the diocese Borongan were badly hit by the typhoon. The wind was so strong that uh, when you listen to the wind, uh, it is a kind of uh, uh, very painful to, to hear and uh, Prophet, Prophet Isaiah described it as there, is a kind of, there was a kind of wailing wind that it was so strong that uh, the wind was crying. So that's why people were trembling in fear. And me also, I had a kind of feeling. So we all, I believe all, all, all of us were praying at the time. Then uh, when the typhoon stopped, so I went down to, from the visa residence and I roamed around the area and I saw the vast destruction of that super typhoon Yolanda in our area. So I, I met all the priests and uh, the sisters and lay people to talk about uh, relief operation. So we, to, we utilized our local resources at the time. Then after two days, we were able to uh, deliver uh, relief goods to the nearby parishes that were hit by the super typhoon Yolanda. And a uh, few days after, so the nearby diocese uh, brought their uh, relief to our area then from other places in the Philippines uh, they also they were also bringing relief to our people the survivors of the super typhoon Yolanda so we were thankful to God that uh, relief goods were overflowing 
coming from different uh, dioceses, religious organizations, uh, caritas, uh, families, foundations, institutions, non-government organizations, international government organizations, and others. few days after the typhoon, they were leaving the area because uh, I, fe I, fe I thought that they were really uh, hopeless at the time because uh, the, the, the vast destruction of the super typhoon uh, brought the people into a stage bang, uh, para bang may pag -asa pa ba? Kaya they were, many of them were leaving the area. That's why I made a personal letter telling people not to leave the area because uh, many groups, many institutions, individuals, families, that are bringing uh, relief uh, goods to the area and uh, willing to help us. And a uh, few days after, a few weeks after, they were coming back uh, to our area in, in Eastern Summer. Five days after the typhoon, I called a clergy meeting. So we were discussing what to do, try to organize ourselves created uh, committees that uh, would respond to the needs of the parishes. So aside from the selection, I created a committee that would respond to the needs of the parishes like church um, damages in the church, rectories, schools, chapels, uh, archives, liturgical needs, and the cemeteries. So these are these are seven committees I created from the diocese that will help the parishes uh, bring back the, the damage done by the super typhoon. But we, I instruct, instructed them to keep that uh, principle of subsidiarity. They go to the, the parishes not to take over, but to help the priests in the parishes uh, restore all the, the damage that were done by that was done by the typhoon. <laughs> of the clergy at that time was very uh, admirable because they really live with the people. The people were living in tents, the priests also were living in tents. The people were eating uh, sardinas and uh, noodles, the priests were also eating sardinas and donuts. The fact that they stay with the people uh, at the time, that uh, helps a lot, that help a lot, uh, bring back the hope and uh, the courage of the people in the parishes. That's why I told our priests and the diocese, that I admire so much our clergy during and after the super typhoon Yolanda that they stay with the people. I tried my best to really be present to the area. So I did not, I did not bring any relief myself. But uh, every day I I went around all the parishes, the chapels, and talked to the leaders because I believe my presence as a spiritual leader would uh, help a lot to the survivors. Mm -hmm. Then, a few days after, uh, weeks after, there were some groups who were coming to the area and uh, they engaged in like uh, counseling, counseling, and uh, they organized our people also to help them so that uh, they can reach out to those families who are, who are living in them at that time. And the ongoing uh, interventions that we are do doing now, uh, doing now uh, the shelter program is ongoing. Uh, we have uh, one, one committee for that. Uh, we have a shelter coordinator, then livelihood, uh, agriculture, fishing, uh, so farming, and uh, the possibility of uh, helping people who are willing to engage in business. That we can lend them a uh, reasonable amount to start for business. Then it's a health uh, program. 
it's ongoing, and then the scholarship program. So we, are, we were able to avail uh, funds for the scholarship program. Then the fifth one is the you know, so advocacy, preparing the people for the possible uh, calamities that will uh, hit to our areas. People would know what to do because of the situation now. There's a kind of global uh, climate change. So we expect more calamities that will uh, happen to our place in Eastern Samar. So this five, these are five interventions that we do for the survivors. In behalf of the Daisa Barongan, especially the survivors of the Super Typhoon Yolanda, I would like to thank all the donors, uh, the bishops of the Philippines, the Catholic Bishop Conference of the Philippines, all the diocese, the clergy, the religious who are making their uh, interventions, who made an uh, initiative to really uh, extend help to the survivors, all the families, the institutions, religious organizations, and renewal movements in the church, all the Caritas foundations from NASA, international non-government organizations, uh, local non-government organizations and other groups who were helping us and who are helping us and will be extending more help to us. I am very grateful for your support and solidarity with all the survivors of the Super Typhoon uh, Yolanda. And, uh, Again, I would like to, to make an appeal. If you are still willing to uh, extend help, you are still uh, willing to facilitate and bring your help to the uh, survivors as an uh, institution of the church, the Diocese of uh, Barongan, through the Social Action Commission. I am really thinking that uh, people, especially for those people, who do not understand why it happened to us. Uh, maybe they would ask the question, why did God allow it to happen to us? So this is my answer. <laughs> I believe God uh, allowed this uh, super typhoon Yolanda uh, hit our area, not to destroy our people, not to destroy us, but to strengthen our faith, but to make us strong, to make us uh, uh, realize the, the, the presence of a loving God in our lives. Because the fact that after the, after the Super Typhoon Yolanda, there were many assistance, there were many uh, help that uh, we received from people with goodwill. Sa mga simbahan, mga diocese. These are concrete expression of the love and goodness of the Lord to all of us. Uh, survivors of the super typhoon Yolanda. And I would like to quote the, the, the words of St. Paul from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Romans chapter 8 verse, verses 38 to 39 that says, For I am convinced that neither death nor life nor angels nor principalities nor present things nor powers nor height, nor death, nor any other creatures will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. And this is a very powerful uh, passage from the, from the Bible that uh, will really uh, remind us that wala makapaghiwalay sa atin sa pag-ibig ng Diyos. Kahit anumang kapagatian sa daigdig wala makapaghiwalay sa atin sa pag-ibig ng Diyos sa ating lahat. Have you ever seen the coconut trees blown down, cut, and twisted in all possible directions? Have you ever seen a child who was killed by a falling tree, homes that were blown away, lives and lands in disarray, 
That is what was left of what now seems another planet. Weeping in our streets has given way to silence, and we are praying with our tears. There's little time to fuss and stare. The hungry suffer violence, but love will cast out all our fears. Yes, love will cast out all our fears. Have you ever seen the waves so tall, seventeen feet and counting? They came as sharp as bellows. Have you ever heard the winds howling wild, like a crashing train, slaying our security, exposing our infirmity? Faith is what is left to help us build. A better planet. Weeping in our streets has given way to silence, and we are praying with our tears. There's little time to fuss and stare. The hungry suffer violence. Love will cast out all our fears. Yes, love will cast out all our fears. Streets has given way to silence, and we are praying with our tears. There's little time to fuss and stare. The hungry suffer violence, but love will cast out all our fears. Yes, love will cast out all our fears.